are you wondering how to get started with the writer's workshop in your classroom? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to set up your classroom so that it promotes writing all year long. I'm Angela Griffith and I help teachers create positive learning experiences in their classroom. Don't forget to subscribe. You can always change your mind later. Tap the like button and click the bell to get notified anytime I drop new videos. The first place that we need to start is establishing goals. The first place you need to look are your state standards. Once your students come into class, you'll quickly get an idea of what their starting point is. Now sometimes the starting point and the end goal according to the standards it's a pretty wide gap, but no worries, your mini lessons will help them get there. So what should students in kindergarten be able to do by the end of the school year? Let's take a look. They should be able to write in complete sentences. Now I know what you're thinking. This doesn't mean that everything is correct, but it is grade level appropriate. Strings of consonants will represent words, and you'll have the beginning and ending consonant missing a vowel. This is totally appropriate and this means that they're on the right track. They should be able to write most capital and lowercase letters and sometimes they're using them interchangeably. At this point they're also choosing a topic of their own. I know some teachers like to use writing prompts. At this stage I use no writing prompts. Children write best when they're writing from their own experience. So I always let them choose their own topic. At this stage, they're also revising their writing. When I first became a teacher, I thought that this was heavy duty revising. Boy, was I wrong. This just means that they're able to maybe label another picture, add another detail, add another color to their detail, something simple like that. They're also learning to share their writing with a peer and with their class. And you'll begin to notice that whatever your reading instruction is, they're mirroring that information in writing. They're using their phonemic awareness and phonics to write. So how do we achieve these goals? The first thing is we have to make them believe that they are writers. I call them writers, I treat them like writers, and they start to believe that they are writers. So there are what I like to call three avenues that come together to help us reach these goals. And the first one is attitude. How we approach writing will have a direct effect on how students think and feel about writing. I always love to stress that writing is important. We are always working to improve our writing. We share our writing with others and our writing is ours. Next up, we have the responsibilities of the teacher. That means you. So it is up to us to conduct the writer's workshop. If we don't do it, no one else is going to do it. It's our job to teach the mini lessons. It is our mini lessons that's going to get them to the next writing point. We have to provide the time for students to incorporate and practice what we've taught. We have to model everything. This means how we hold our crayons, pencils, how we treat our paper, our writing folder, procedures, mechanics, everything. If you think it's something that they already know, chances are they don't. When in doubt, model it anyway. It's our job to not dictate what they should write about. Now yes, we help them along the way, but kind of guide them and letting them choose what to write about. And we help them to publish the piece. Don't forget to tap the like button if you're getting value. Our next thing is room setup. Our room has to be set up in a way that encourages writing. This covers everything from our physical environment to what materials we have available for students. One of the most important spaces in my room is our gathering place. And more than likely, you already have that space set up for your whole group instruction and for your read alouds. You'll also use that space for your mini lesson and your share time. Think about a place for them to work on their writing. Maybe you allow some students to write on the floor. Maybe some students are in different parts of the room. Whatever works for you. You can group your tables and chairs together. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. 
And I found the most important thing is storage space. I always give them writing folders, but I never let them keep them in their desk because I've noticed that their writing pieces get lost if I let them keep them in their desk. So they're able to get their writing folders every day and every writing folder has a space to be returned to at the end of our writing time. We also have our writing tools. I like to begin with plain white copy paper, pencils, crayons, and erasers. And then later on, I expand to markers and colored pencils. I know that some teachers like to start out with everything, but I like to go over rules and procedures. We talk about how we take care of pencils and crayons. And then once they've shown me they can master that, I move on to markers and colored pencils. And oh, by the way, keep a ton of pencils on hand. Yes, students lose pencils. Yes, they need to sharpen pencils. Yes, sometimes they break them on purpose. Keep a plethora of pencils handy. I like to keep an ABC chart handy in their writing folder and it contains the keywords from our phonics series. I also like to keep a lot of clipboards. This allows students to write on the floor or in other areas of the room if they wish to. Now I know that I said model everything and I can't stress that enough. Even from the smallest thing that we do, how to hold a pencil, how to use a crayon, how to use a writing paper, how to use a writing folder, what do I do with my work when I'm done? Model everything as if your life depended on it. This means that often you'll need to rehearse how you will model something. I can't tell you how many times I've come up with what I thought was this great meaning lesson and once I thought through it and I kind of rehearsed it a little bit, I realized that I needed to break it down into smaller chunks to make sure that the lesson was accessible by everyone. Modeling is important because we know that students learn by imitating the teacher. So every little thing that I do sets the foundation for their writing journey. So, how are you going to think about your writer's workshop? What are you going to do before you ever teach that first mini lesson? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys next time.